So you've got this amazing AI avatar, but it's just sitting there talking, static, no movement, kind of boring, right? But it won't be anymore. Well, today I'm going to show you how to create an AI character that not only talks, but also gets up and even walks while speaking, just like me. And trust me, it's way easier than you think. We're going to go step by step from creating the avatar, animating it, and syncing it with voiceover, all the way to editing everything together into a smooth professional video. Okay, first things first, we need to create our AI avatar. And to do that, we're going to use ChatGPT to generate a super detailed prompt. So, I'm opening ChatGPT, and I'm going to paste in this prompt. I want to generate a realistic AI avatar for my YouTube channel. The avatar should feature a young male in a studio environment. Please create a detailed and specific prompt that I can use with an AI image generation tool, like Leonardo AI, to create this avatar. Include details about the character's appearance, clothing, expression, and the studio setting. The setting should be clean and not overcomplicate different elements. Make sure the prompt is clear and descriptive enough to produce a high-quality, realistic image. Hit Enter, and boom! ChatGPT has generated a super detailed prompt for us. Now, let's take this over to Leonardo AI to create our avatar. Step 2. Generating the avatar. All right, now that we've got our detailed prompt, let's head over to Leonardo AI and create our character. Let's tweak the settings for best results before generating our image. Select the model Phoenix 1.0. I am going to set the prompt enhance to auto, keep the generation as dynamic, and set the contrast as medium. Now, set the dimension to 16 by 9 since we're creating it for YouTube. I'll select the number of images to 4, so we have more options to choose. All right, hit generate, and let's see what we get. Ooh, these look great. It's going to be hard to select one. Now, from these four, I think... Yeah, this one looks the best. It has sharp details, good lighting, and a clean background. Perfect for animation. Let's download it. Now, before we animate it, we need to increase the resolution to make sure it looks super crisp in the final video. So, back in Leonardo AI, go to Image Upscaler. Upload your finalized image. Select the upscaler style to realistic. I am going to keep the upscale mode to ultra and hit upscale. All right, it's processing. And depending on your image, this might take anywhere from a few seconds to a minute. And here we go. Look at that difference. The edges are sharper, the lighting is more refined, and the textures, especially in the hair and clothing, look way more natural. If you compare it to the original, you'll see how much cleaner and professional this looks. All right, now we're good to go. The image is high quality, crisp, and ready to be animated. So let's move on to the fun part, bringing it to life with movement. For this, we'll be using Kling AI, which allows us to animate still images into realistic, dynamic videos. But you can use any image to video generator that you prefer because the process is same. Just use my prompts given in the description below and you're good to go. All right, first, we need to make our avatar talk naturally while using hand gestures. So I'm uploading the upscaled image into Kling's AI video section. This is where we can create realistic animations using just a simple text prompt. A static medium close-up shot of a man sitting and talking directly to the camera with a confident and relaxed expression. He makes natural hand gestures as he speaks, moving them gently to emphasize key points. His facial expressions are engaging and dynamic, reflecting the tone of his speech. Now, one important thing here, we don't want stiff, robotic movements or weird facial expressions. So, I'm adding a negative prompt to make sure the animation looks natural and smooth. This helps eliminate those AI glitches where the mouth moves awkwardly or the hands do something weird. I'll provide all the prompts that I am using in the description below. All right, let's generate the first clip and give it a few seconds to process. And there we go. Look at that. The avatar is now talking naturally while using hand gestures. Notice how the eye contact stays focused on the camera and the hand movements feel organic rather than awkward. All right, now that our avatar is talking naturally, we're gonna add movement, starting with making him stand up while continuing to talk. This adds a layer of realism and makes the character feel way more dynamic 
instead of just sitting in one spot the whole time. Now, here's an important step. You want to take a screenshot of the last frame from the first clip. This way, the transition from sitting to standing looks smooth and natural instead of feeling like a sudden jump. Once we have the screenshot, we can upscale it again in Leonardo AI if needed. But since our original image was already high resolution, we can skip this step if it looks sharp enough. Now, let's animate the next action, our avatar standing up while still talking. I'm uploading the last frame screenshot into Kling, and now we need a new animation prompt to make this happen. Tracking shot of man getting up naturally while still looking at the camera and continuing to talk. He adjusts his posture slightly and gestures with his hands in a relaxed, confident manner. All right, let's hit generate, and we'll give it a few seconds to process. And boom, look at that. Our avatar now naturally stands up while still speaking. See how his hands adjust slightly as he moves? That little detail makes a huge difference in making the animation feel lifelike. One thing to check is whether the transition from sitting to standing looks smooth. If you see anything off, like the arms glitching or the posture looking unnatural, you might need to tweak the prompt slightly and regenerate. But this one looks solid. So now it's time for the final step, making our avatar walk while talking. All right, now that our avatar is talking naturally and has stood up smoothly, it's time for the final step, making him walk while still talking. This is what really brings the animation to life, giving it that real world feel instead of looking like a stiff AI generated clip. Just like before, we need to capture the last frame of the standing clip so we can keep the transition seamless when our avatar starts walking. If we don't do this, the movement might feel unnatural, like a sudden cut. If the quality is low, you can again use Leonardo AI to upscale it following the same process. But if looks good, just use it the way it is. Now, let's make our avatar walk naturally while keeping eye contact with the camera and speaking in a smooth, confident way. I'm uploading the last frame screenshot into Kling, and now we need a new animation prompt for this movement. A tracking shot of a man walking outside of the room while talking looking straight into the camera, and hit Generate. All right, let's give it a few seconds. And there it is. Our avatar is now walking while talking, and it looks quite good. This is exactly what we wanted. A fully animated AI character that starts off talking, stands up, and then walks naturally. It's fluid, engaging, and feels more human-like. Download all three clips. Now that we have all three clips, it's time to add the voiceover so that everything is perfectly synced. For this, we'll be using Eleven Labs, one of the best AI voice generators out there for creating realistic speech with natural intonation. Open Eleven Labs, select text to speech from the left side. On the right side, you can choose the voice from number of voices and generate the voiceover. Now, you have two options here. One, you can generate the full script as one audio file and then cut it later during editing. Or you can generate it in 10 second chunks so that it's already divided for each clip. For better syncing, I prefer the second option, breaking it into separate voice clips for the talking, standing, and walking sections. Now, back in Kling, I'm going to upload the first animation clip, the talking clip, and match it with the first part of the voiceover. Click Generate and wait for processing. And done. So you've got this amazing AI avatar, but it's just sitting there talking. Now the avatar's mouth moves perfectly in sync with the audio. Do the same process for the next two clips. Upload the second video and the audio file. And do the same for the third clip where the character is walking. And boom. Our three clips are ready. Now the last step, putting it all together. I'm opening up my video editor, and I'm dragging in the three animation clips with their synced voiceovers. Trim any unnecessary pauses. Make sure transitions between clips are smooth. Adjust background sound if needed. And there you have it. We just created a fully expressive AI character that talks, gets up and walks. You can follow this same process and create any type of character you want. I have given prompts and helpful materials in the description below. Comment below if you want me to create second part using different animated character. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more AI-powered tools, and I'll see you in the next one.